Cavities are the most familiar problem that people experience with their teeth. Fillings are the most common procedure for correcting that problem. Your mouth is a busy place. Around your teeth swirl bacteria, tiny colonies of living organisms, some good, some bad. There's saliva too. Saliva is good. It helps to maintain the hard outer covering of your teeth called enamel by contributing mineral salts and controlling acidity. Cavities usually develop because of improper cleaning of those hard to get to places that normally need flossing. By their nature, these places are also the hard to see places in your mouth, so the cavities are often not easily visible. When bacteria combine with food particles, they form plaque that adheres to your teeth. As they eat up sugar, the bacteria produce acids that dissolve the minerals that help make tooth enamel hard. The enamel softens, the tooth surface gets porous. Tiny holes appear in the enamel. The acid continues to attack. The tiny holes become bigger and combine to form one big hole or cavity. As long as the plaque remains, the acid produced by the bacteria will eat away the tooth structure. Once through the enamel, the acid attacks the dentin which is that part of the tooth containing sensitive nerve fibers. The nerves can send out signals of sensitivity and pain, which indicate a problem. If the tooth decay reaches the dentin, a filling is needed to halt the degenerative process. Otherwise, it continues at an accelerated rate. If the cavity gets too large, it can damage the nerve. If it is found soon enough, it can be repaired by a simple preparation and filling. After the damaged area of the tooth is removed, a filling is done. With this filling in place, the tooth is restored to its original contours. Afterwards, it should feel natural and comfortable. After a particularly large filling, it might take a little longer for that area to feel normal again. Eventually, though, you shouldn't notice anything at all. If you do, you need to have the tooth checked again for other problems, such as rough edges or incorrect bite.